Hey everyone, it's Crafty Music Lover here and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you guys here for December 2020 and my one page at a time. In this first half of December, we're going to be flipping through December 1st through the 17th and talk about what I did on each page and how I decorated it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in to December 1st. For this page, I decided to be extremely generic and base it off of the beginning of winter because I know that December is usually when people start celebrating Christmas and the winter time, and I really liked the way this page turned out. So basically I used a piece of magazine from an Amazon wishlist booklet that I got uh, for being an Amazon Prime member. So I ripped out one of the pages and cut out these little themed characters, and just decorated it based on that. So if you go to the next page, these two pages are actually very similar in their design and the prompt, so I try to decorate them differently so it looks like it's two different pages, but they're, like I said, they're kind of the same. On December 2nd, it asks you to write an email to anyone who ever doubted you, including yourself. So I just wrote my little email and the little box provided and then covered the top and bottom of the page in this weird striped washi tape. On the opposite page, it's like I said, basically the same prompt, but it just asks you to write something down on paper that you want to get out of your head. And it's basically the same kind of thing. So I recreated the email box from the previous page onto this page and then wrote how I felt and then kind of did the same thing as before and decorated the top and bottom with this retro 90s looking washi tape. One page actually has a lot of these prompts that just say, what are you doing? What's up today? How are you feeling? And I used the basis of this prompt to just write down what I did that day. And I used some various scrapbooking paper ephemera that I had laying around. And then to add a little more decoration, I covered the top and bottom of the page with some washi tape. And then to write the words, I just used a paint pen. On the opposite page, it looks like a Valentine's Day themed page, but I actually had gone shopping and it, they had their Valentine's themed stuff out and that was just really weird to me. So I decided to go ahead and use that for a basis on the page. So basically I just covered the entire page with those wrappers, put a layer of mo matte Mod Podge on the page and then wrote my explanation to the prompt in with a sharpie pen and then covered it with some packing tape just to seal everything in. This next page is basically a free page that it just says to do whatever you want and I had a lot of these I guess you could call these dreamscape stickers from the Dollar Tree and I decided to use them up because some of them I was never going to use and I thought this would be a good basis to use that so I covered the background with some pink gelato pastel and then slapped some of these stickers on the page and kind of had a lot of fun with it. On the 7th of December, the background of the page is actually done with washi tape and then the blue center is actually from an order that I got off of Etsy and it is just some of the wrapping paper that they use to cover it with and I thought it would be a good way to use some of the scraps. So the theme of this page is you can do this with your eyes closed and I thought that this would be a really good way to use some of this stickers that I got from Michaels which are women empowerment stickers and I will leave the link for that in the description box below and I really like the way this looks it's a very strong feminine page. So in the December pages you can see that I use a lot of stickers and it's just because I've been having a lot of fun decorating my pages with stickers and just doing a lot of different kinds of decorations with stickers so I have this mood tracker uh, stick girls from the happy planner little insert and I thought it would be a good way to use up some of them. So on the prompt it just had a pencil with an eraser that said ugh on it and I thought that would be a really good way to use some of those emotional stickers that kind of aren't very happy. So I put just a ton of those stickers all over the page and the background is done with a green gelato pastel and then I used the top and bottom of the page and covered it with some of this love and happy washi tape. 
On the opposite page, this was actually a really fun page to do because it was my very first 10 hour shift at work. So I covered the top and bottom with different kinds of washi tape and then I had this girl that I cut out of a magazine and she kind of looked really sassy so I thought it would be a perfect way to theme the entire page around. And it's supposed to be like she's trying to gather up the courage to go somewhere so that's what I themed the whole page off of. And then next to her I put a sticker that says you got this babe and made a little frame to go around it. The next page is again from that empowerment sticker pack and also from the Happy Planner Stronger Together sticker pack and I really liked this page because it basically just talks about best friends and I thought that these stickers really represented that feeling. So I covered the background with a peach gelato pastel and lined the top and bottom with this washi tape by the Happy Planner and then added those stickers all around the page until it looked full. December 11th had a prompt that I didn't particularly like. It says to draw a grid or whatever you want. So I decided to fill the page with this window cling sticker sheet, I guess is what you could call it. Um, but it it basically didn't really work on my windows so I decided to use them here rather than throw them away and they're very large but it's supposed to be a winter scene so I colored the background with some again gelato pastel and then glued those on until it looked nice um, this is my not my favorite page but I think it still looks very wintry so the next page is not December 12th, so we're going to go forward a couple of pages until we get there. So December 12th, the prompt asked you to write down the one person that you can always count on, and that just so happened to be my sister. So obviously I covered up personal information, but I did write everything down on the actual page, but I lined the top and bottom with this plaid washi tape, and then to kind of go with the counting on and sending emails and phone messages and things like that. I had this paper airplane washi tape that I covered underneath the plaid washi tape. And then I also had a couple of stickers from the Happy Planner sticker packs that I put all over the page just for um, email, call, birthday, different kinds of things to theme it around the page. So going back to December 13th, I actually really like these two pages a lot and December 13th asks you about romantic relationships. So I found a black and white image. I think this is of a famous couple, but I honestly don't remember who it is, but I liked it because I really wanted to use this heart themed washi tape that I had. So I cut out that image and just taped it on the page and then put the washi tape along the top and bottom of the page. And then I answered the prompt and I used gel pen to write down my answers and then I just put some heart stickers all over the back of the page. On the next page it asks you to draw an oddly specific do not disturb sign. So I immediately thought of when I was in high school I used to always put a little sign that I made on my door. So I decided to try and recreate that on this page. I just recently got some washi tape from Amazon. It has like wood themed and marble and just different kinds of textured washi tape on there. So I wanted to use that because this kind of looks like my old bedroom door. And then I pushed a brad into the back of the page so that it looks like it is being held up onto the page. And then I made this little sign with a couple of stickers and then glued some ribbon to the back of the page. Basically the sign moves around but that is the oddly specific do not disturb sign that I went for. The next page is actually not complete because I could not figure out anything to do for that page. So we're actually going to skip December 15th and go to the next page which is a playlist for getting even. From the same pack that I got those other girls that I cut out of magazines from, I actually found this girl and she looks extremely intimidating. And that's what I thought of when I first saw that. So that is the girl I decided to use to help me inspire this page. And I use red and black gelato pastel in the background because those are the colors that I use anytime I'm trying to represent any kind of feeling like that. So I thought it would be a good background color. And then I just wrote a bunch of songs that I thought kind of made sense for like getting even. 
So that is it for the first half of December 2020 and my one page at a time by Adam J. Kurtz. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys missed any of my previous one page at a time flip throughs, I do have an entire playlist dedicated to that. It will be on the screen and in the description box below, so check it out if you miss any videos. I also have other playlists down in the description box below as well that are related to other kinds of videos that I have if you guys are interested in watching that as well. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and until the next video, craft on. Bye guys. Thank you.